Hey, what's up guys, Wills Garage here. So I just wanted to make a follow-up video on the Ultimate Clutch Pedal install, which I did about a week ago. Um, I've been driving around for about a week now, testing it out, and I've made various adjustments to it to fine tune it to my personal preference, and I think I found the perfect sweet spot. So I just want to share it with you guys. So the Ultimate Clutch Pedal has three mounting holes for the over center spring. The hole furthest from the pedal is the lightest setting and that's OEM equivalent and the hole in the middle is the quote-unquote sport setting which is a little stiffer and then the hole closest to the pedal is the stiffest setting so when I first installed it I set it to the middle position which I thought is perfect or not perfect but which I thought you know is a good starting point because I want the pedal to be definitely stiffer than the OEM setting um, and I honestly was completely disappointed when I first installed it and the reason is because the pedal would kind of stick to the floor for about five seconds or so um, and wow I've never driven this road before but the scenery is beautiful <laughs> uh, I just gotta take it all in for a second here but yeah, anyways, when I would step on the pedal, it would not really like stick to the bottom of the floor. It would just kind of be a little sticky, you know, less than half a second, it would stick to the floor before rebounding. And it just wasn't really that responsive. So I kind of freaked out in the beginning. I thought, oh crap, I must have installed it incorrectly or I damaged the master cylinder, uh, which was really alarming because the car only has about 30,000 miles on it right now. Uh, and typically master cylinders don't go bad that early on so I decided you know what maybe it's the adjustment of the stiffness setting so I changed it to the stiffest setting which is the hole closest to the pedal and still I had the same problem the pedal would still stick to the floor for about half a second before rebounding so I decided to remove the spring completely and that totally did the trick that solved the problem it made the pedal feel completely linear. Um, I was very happy with the feeling the, the pedal would rebound immediately. So I drove around with that setting for about two days, but then I noticed the pedal wasn't really like mounted down. It had some play from left to right. So it kind of wobble a little bit. I mean, it wouldn't wobble, but you would feel it when you depress the pedal. So, what I did was I ended up reinstalling the over center spring, but I only put in the inner small spring. And let me tell you, that completely did the trick. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. The pedal is stiffer and it's firm and it does not wobble side to side. It's like, it feels great completely. If you guys are on the fence and deciding on whether or not to get the ultimate clutch pedal and you have a six speed manual on your E92, I definitely recommend you get it. Uh, I think you're gonna be happy with it because overall the pedal feels a lot firmer. And you can adjust the stiffness setting on it. Um, the feeling's much more linear. The throws are shorter and the catch point is not so high anymore. It's more closer to the middle of the pedal uh, travel. So the other thing is that the pedal is not so high it's on the same level as the brake pedal and it doesn't seem like a big difference but ergonomically it, it feels very different when you're driving so overall I'm really happy with the clutch pedal I kind of wish I did it earlier if I had to point out any downfalls with this pedal it would be the fact that it kind of exposes the other downfall on the six-speed car which is the shifter um, so I've been looking into maybe upgrading the shifter so I've been doing some research on different short shift kits so it, I haven't decided on one yet but once I do I'll definitely post a video on, on it on the install and my thoughts on it so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoy this video if you did make sure you subscribe hit the like button and stay tuned for more content on the E92 M3 as well as the F10 M5. I know you guys have been asking for more on the F10 M5, so I'll definitely be posting more content on it. 
So stay tuned for that. See ya.